So what if I was to tell you that England has got its very own Skinwalker Ranch? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought at first until I went and checked it out. Now, this is an area uh, that's been notoriously known for people seeing really strange things over the years. Uh, it's attracted various paranormal investigators from all around the country. Uh, not only is it known for seeing uh, spirits, apparitions, there's also been reports of seeing strange lights there. Okay, now I've been investigating this area on and off for about two years. So most of you would have seen uh, the lights that I caught and that I put up on TikTok recently. Uh, very strange, slender uh, looking sort of objects that went across the camera. A lot of people said it was uh, flying insects. I wasn't so sure, especially when I, I, I slowed the footage down. I freezed it. And you can clearly see this is a perfect, perfect shape. Uh, I've got some pictures of what a uh, flying insect, a moth, a fly, or whatever looks like. We'll put them up on the screen now and compare them uh, to what I call. You can clearly see the, the light that we caught going past in the camera. I'm sorry, but it's just not uh, a flying insect. If it was a flying insect, it would have lost its shape. It wouldn't have kept a slender, perfect um, shape that we've seen there. And only that, insects aren't that kind of shit. They're not perfect like that. It's, it's just not, it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, there's a couple more uh, shots of the lights that we call. And here's another one of it when it skims off the top of the building. Just like a, like a stone would. It's flying at an incredible speed. Um, had to slow the footage right down so we could get a, a sort of clear shot like this. And even slowing it down to the, the slowest rate we could do. Uh, it just doesn't give any justice to how, how fast this object was actually travelling. Anyway, uh, I went back there a couple of weeks ago and we caught some more strange um, pictures. Some of you would have seen the ones that I caught recently. Of, it looks like a, um, a, a tall hooded figure praying to possibly a head on a, 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 a gallow, a gibbet, something like that. And then further over to his right, um, it, there, there seems to be another sort of hooded figure that stood by the doorway entrance. Uh, we've gone back there, we've took photos of that doorway entrance, there's nothing stood there. Anyway, what I caught this time, and what I'm about to show you is weird. Um, just, just watch for yourself. Right, I'm going to freeze it right there, okay? Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? If you didn't, look again. But here it is again. Oh my God. No, like, like seriously, oh my God. It just walked straight past the screen. We've, look, we've froze the video, we've stopped the video. This is what it is. This is what we call walking past our camera, the other end of the area that I was investigating. clearly see the van in the background appearing. <laughs> that van is appearing because whatever it was blocking our view of it has then moved out of its way. It's simple. Okay, so whatever it was we captured had the ability to move. It wasn't stationary. Okay, it wasn't a tree, a reflection, anything like that. We can eliminate this straight away. Okay, it's proven. The proof's in the pudding, there it is. So, whatever it was, 
had the ability to move. So that means it's, in my opinion, it's one of three things. We've got, let's look at what some people, some skeptics would say, an animal. Well, I can, <laughs> let's not be silly about things. I can safely say that I'm pretty sure that wasn't an animal. Um, the other thing is it could be a person that's um, trying out to prank us. You know, I, I highly doubt it because no one knew we was going to that location that day. And also, we was at the that end of the area within a matter of seconds after we had filmed that. And we would have seen the person there. Not only that, you know, they'd have to be walking about wearing some weird ragged clothing, like a cape, and they'd have to be wearing a mask. Well, well yeah, it's not hard to get, is it? mask but then if that was a person wouldn't the image be solid because it's not it it looks like it's quite transparent which is what spirits are the third thing it could be is a ghost of some kind anyway <laughs> i'm going back here and i went back there the other day and believe it or not this is absolutely nothing you know where it goes. Like and follow for part two of my adventure into England's Skinwalker Ranch.